<laughs> you didn't Good day, year. fans of CGT and this Gojo here. Yeah, long time no see. It's been months since I hosted the last live live stream, and you can see here I'm at the MWC Shanghai 2021 in Shanghai, and uh, this is a very marvelous event about 5G smartphones and telecom technology. If you're interested in this, just stay tuned, and it will bring you the latest and coolest technology you may have never seen before. And right beside me, you can see on this giant screen there is a Chinese monk seemingly crying and who is on the right oh that's my colleague that is my colleague is she going to fight a monk oh wow I don't know if she can do this wow this is very interesting I'll have to ask her since when since Hello. when did you learn this kind of technology? Hi everyone, this is Mengqi. Welcome to the World Mobile World Congress yeah. Shanghai. Yeah, Mobile World Congress. We are now at um, a 5G cloud studio, as you were seeing um, from the screen over there just now. I was interacting with the actor here, and then our movement was captured by this camera, and then it would upload the movement onto the cloud for editing through a 5G network, which allows for, um, which allows the process to be faster, uh, the latency is, is shorter, and then for, for rendering, right? And then um, it also allows for distant editing and processing of the images. And that's one application of 5G. Yeah. But we're seeing lots of others in this exhibition here. Yeah, there are so many interesting technologies. You know, last time in 2019, uh, 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 event in Shanghai. You I, didn't here, yeah. uh, I didn't expect there, are, there would be so many marvelous uh, new things uh, in, in, in China, especially because you know MWC originally should be should be happening now in Barcelona, Spain. Yeah, for our audience, we're not familiar with the event. Um, here's a bit background information. So. The Mobile World Congress is organized by GSMA. Yeah, GSMA. Um, the... And it's it also hosts two other events uh, in Barcelona and in, and Los, in Los Angeles, Angeles as well. Yeah. So three locations. And usually, typically, the Shanghai edition uh, happens takes place in June, in whereas June, the Barcelona yeah. edition, which is the flagship event, takes yeah. place in February. Yeah, February. But this year, it's no, it's swapped. switched. Yeah. yeah. Because. Um, China is more open to hosting the event at this time um, with the pandemic yeah. under more control. Maybe I guess. because China has best control of the pandemic in the world. Maybe. Still, there is a reduced capacity. You said you were here in 2019. Yeah, yeah. Last year, there were many. You know, so this year, we have four uh, exhibition halls opening, but mm -hmm. in the last year, there were eight. So I yeah. think that is like 50% reduction. And also the crowd, you know. Uh, there aren't that many people. Yeah. Um, I think that live wow. demonstration, there is also uh, an application of 5G. I think I have never seen so many smartphones getting together like Maybe that. Maybe we should Maybe we should ask try. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is the new live stream industry in China? So what as I was saying, you know, 5G is definitely the biggest highlight for this Congress this of year. Of course, yeah. Um, so, I think there are at least 30 no. smartphones here. So, yeah, every smartphone is turned to the live stream mode. If you have, a, if you have ever had have so many devices in the home router, you should know that usual router will, not, will never take so many smartphones. Every phone will lag. So with 5G technology, you don't need home Wi-Fi anymore. Uh, and the, the 5G towers will take the job of hosting so many smartphones to, to live stream at the same time. So who do we have here? Um, I think she knows, she's the, the person in charge of this part of the exhibition. Okay. And I was just asking her about um, how is this related to 5G. So is this related to 5G? Uh, actually, we're in our family area. 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 但是我们在移动场景下呢，可能会使用到五G，这样的话它能够保证它的直播的顺畅。所以这是一个家庭情况。So uh, this is a simulation of a scenario at home. So uh, probably people are not using 5G for that. 那这个是一个什么样的展示在这边？呃，我们其实主要是想。
What kind of technology is this? Uh, FTTR fiber to the room. Are you familiar with that? Well, fiber to the room. Uh, uh, yeah. Fiber to the room. Yeah. So, fiber to F5G, the F means fiber. Uh, no, no. Uh, F5G means uh, fixed. Uh, fixed. Okay, that's so fiber is one kind of fixed. Okay. 所以这个是更快还是它有什么样的性能？它首先它就是带宽的话，它能达到千兆，然后它这样的话能够为家庭成员提供更高质量的网络保障。啊，然后这么多台手机都 OK 的是吗？对对对，是。我并发，它多台并发，多需求并发的时候是可以做很多的支持。那如果像正常，比如说像家里用的 WiFi 那个路由器的话，它是做不到这么快的速度。对它其实现在的话，可能我们常见的是百兆。那如果我们现在不是有更多的应用在，比如说八 K， 呃，云游戏、VR 游戏，或者我们现在经常在家做这种，呃，远程办公或者是网课，这样子很多的家庭成员在一起使用这个网络的时候。Okay, so I'll do the translation here. That's you know,、uh, when there, so, so now we have you know so many broadband、uh, applications at home and. Our network is under giant, giant pressure. Especially when, like, if there are three members in your family, one is to, is, is having classes、exactly. online, and the other is having a meeting online, and well, and finally there is someone doing live stream. So there are so many video stream in and out. Maybe the whole broadband. And the broadband width is also different. For Wi-Fi,、yeah. we were saying typically we have what 100 megabytes. Well, yeah, for for most, yeah. Yeah. And about, like hundreds of megabytes. For this one,、uh, it's like one thousand at least, right? 就一千起是吗？就是千兆是起步的，是吧？千兆，千兆。So you can see with so many phones, mobile phones, doing a live stream all together at the same time,、yeah. there's no problem with latency, etc. Right. Yeah, I've been tweaking with like home routers for some time. I don't think. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. I don't think there could be like, like, like. Like thousand yuan or like hundred dollar level, a home router can do this. This is so amazing.、Mm, watch out there! Watch out there!、Hey, watch out for the crowd. There's quite a crowd over here, so we're just reminding our photographer. There is always a big crowd in any Chinese, in any Chinese exhibition. Especially a tech exhibition. event like this. Yeah. You know. And speaking of tech,、um, this is actually the booth of Huawei,、yeah. one of、we're、China's telecom of giants,、yeah. um, and it has Huawei's just. Had only just released、uh, another 5G handset、yeah. prior to the Congress on the eve of this yeah, event. Yeah, just two days ago. So we're gonna take a look at that too. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that too. Because, that one,、mm -hmm. because yeah, because that is a foldable phone.、Uh, And Huawei is definitely one of the biggest exhibitors here at the event. With if such not a big the,、booth. if not the biggest. Well, if you gonna let me go, okay. So two days ago, Huawei just released their new flagship foldable phone. You can see、Mate、over there.、X2. There's quite a crowd again. Yeah. If it could pan over. Go check out the crowd over there. I think people are all here for the new. Yeah. So in in Beijing time, this is right after. This is the start of the afternoon. So so most of the people are still sleeping in the hotel, but you know some of the early birds are here. To check out the latest Huawei devices. Mate X2. Let's check it out. Yeah. So,、uh, sorry. They're not the only playing、yeah. with the phone.、Right、They're not only playing with the phone, but also using other smartphones to take videos、Obviously、of it. Obviously, people are very interested. Because this is so rare. Is it from where? Yeah, you can see. It's a foldable phone, 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 phone with two screens, one big and one small. Very happy. I think the first one is much better than the second one. Be that as well, guys. So yeah, this is the second second generation. This is the third 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 The screen can be folded, but the screen protector, the glass, cannot be folded. So there have to be a plastic, a plastic、uh, screen protector over there. But for but plastic is soft, 
So there was there would always be creases on yeah. the screen on the, on the protector, unlike gla you know, glasses. And Mr. Won't here have was creases. saying that for the first generation, the the Philips yeah. phone. It's, yeah, I remember it the opens phone. Yeah, from two, the opposite direction. Yeah, on the opposite direction. You know, like two years ago, I I remember that you know the crease is much bigger than. You think this price you will accept? Like at this price? Yeah. The price is acceptable. The price is acceptable. The price is acceptable. Yeah, there are yeah, there are many people are reselling the phone for a higher price. <laughs> oh, so they only worry about the availability. They don't care about the prices. Oh. So this okay. one here says he tried yeah, they've already to tried to apply an online sale, but but it seems, seems like they have to fail to to get their first phone. Uh, oh, so oh, that is the previous generation, right? Uh -huh. Uh, so yeah, the, the, no, the new one is five grams lighter than the previous one. So both were saying the second generation feels yeah. lighter and, and better. Like yeah, they're the even holding the X. I think this is the XS, right? Yeah, this is the XS. <laughs> they're definitely Huawei fans. Yeah, they are. This is actually you know this is the first time better? I see. A, a person in real life holding a foldable phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They use. I only, I only see people, you know, holding testing phones, testing devices, and doing various testing. But you know, this is still not in the store. Is today? Should be open, right? Yeah, today. Yeah, they're online. 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 Mm. Yeah, this is the made access. On Huawei's selling platform, the, this model was already like oversubscribed. Uh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> oversubscribed. <laughs> I think it's okay. The subscription is like three million. Yeah, uh, times, there there are millions of people By wanting yesterday. to buy this phone, although it is like two thousand, two thousand. More than two thousand. Yeah, more US than two thousand US yeah, dollars. But they're still very eager for it. They don't. Just like, uh, just like that customer said, they don't care about prices. What they care is availability. Okay, but I don't know if I have a chance to. But in your opinion, would you my, buy it at this well, price? Well, my own opinion. Maybe I'm not rich enough to agree with them. But since Huawei is now aiming for like uh, a higher at least end market, middle end, yeah. but more towards like high end. Yeah, I, th I think Huawei is now heading is now aiming at a much higher market. Uh, instead of like they did two years ago, so yeah, because so like, we like know the original, that yeah, the original Mate X used to be a more like an experimental device. They did, they're not meant to be sold, but now this is a this is something that they want to mass produce and mass sell. That's quite amazing. I, I never know there is a market out there for people to buy such expensive phones. Yeah, I'm just yeah. waiting for my turn to yeah. get a feel of it. Take turns. And so and we know that Huawei is uh, like smartphone business has been facing kind of yeah facing kind of difficulties. Then yeah, they no longer have, have their have their flagship GSM. chips available anymore. So they have to use their There's current chips in store. Yeah, uh, in, so they have to take out their their stored chips to to make these new devices. You know, like for me, you know, I, I'm still using the old Mate 30. Uh, this is what this is still now. Premium one. This is now no device. <laughs> So, compared, especially compared to that, my screen is not expandable. If I want to watch video, I'll have to tolerate such small screen. Or but, use a pad. Yeah, but for them, pad and phone have already been merged into a single device. It seems like how is life, taking photos. Yeah, how is life like that be? Uh, and, you know, for it, there used to be there used to be well, other foldable devices. Kind of heavy. I mean, yeah, of course it's kind of heavy because it, it has to be like it has so to have it more opens spaces. like this way, and then you can see there's a screen yeah. here. But then once it opens, there's also a screen on the exterior. Yeah. and if you like open the browser and you close it up, mm. the browser will turn into the second screen. Oh really? Yeah, that's ah, yeah. what they what they call a seamless experience. <laughs> Okay, I've never like got my hands on any photo screens at all. Yeah, but this. So do I. Never before. And the cameras. Yeah, the camera like like a four camera system, hmm. what they call quad camera system. Wanna and try? still, yeah, and still they have a punch hole, punch hole front camera available. So uh, I think there's still some conservative part of this phone, and also it's. Hmm. 
So it's you can like see, a block. Uh, yeah, you can see the, uh, uh, the gap here. It's almost 100% sealed uh, compared to the previous Huawei devices. You know, the original Mate X, there is, a, there is a gap in between and it seems to be a little bit cheap. You mean the first generation? Yeah, yeah the first generation. So yeah. now there is no, no more gap in this and it looks more solid than before. Maybe too solid. And words have it that this, uh, this model will also be one of the first Huawei phones to be able to run the Harmony OS mobile operating system. Ah, uh, yeah, Harmony OS. So, Which is expected to be released in, in early I think, April. I think early April, yeah. Mm. So the, currently you can see the I'm phone. I'm looking forward to Yeah, I'm to quite that, looking actually. forward to it. I'm actually a developer of, I'm also, I'm, I'm actually trying to develop a CGTN, like view, like uh, an app, uh, uh -huh. Harmony OS to view CGTN news. Oh. Yeah. And so you can see it's still EMUI 11. But, you know, if you're familiar with Huawei developers, you would know that any phone with the version 11 on it will get updated to to the new to the new Huawei's own system uh, that like in okay. in a month or two. So yeah, we can expect. But this is still based on the open source. Uh, yeah, this is still the open Android. source Android and uh, uh, with Huawei's customization, of course. Yeah. So for those of you yeah. who are not familiar with it. Um, mm -hmm. In China, you can't access Google or... Yeah, you don't have Google's Android, you so have all of the, the stock phones Android. were based on yeah. the open source... Yeah, the uh, open source kind of Android. ...version of Android. Yeah, for most, for most people in, outside of China, I don't think they can tell the difference between the stock Android and the Google's Android. I'm sure I can't tell it. <laughs> yeah, of course. But, um, so I, as we were saying, you know, Huawei's taken this hit, um, and then the company is also trying to diversify from the smartphone, smartphone business. And uh, we know that it's also a, a large part of its business is also, also networking gear. Yeah, networking and gear. And especially like in building routers, 5G. Yeah, home yeah. routers and 5G switches. And we're now just making our way to another exhibition hall. Yeah, to there are take four a halls and, there. and one hall is for meeting and one hall is almost empty. So I think we will only travel like two halls. So yeah. yeah, we're heading for hall for the hall number two. And there, there are so many other quite a lot of interactive do. stuff. Yeah, um, that I'm quite yeah, eager you know. to try my hands on. Yeah, there are so many interactive things that we can we can actually play with in the next exhibition hall, uh, because um, I think they may not completely related, but they're still cool technology right, that can be applied on a 5G network. Who just joined us? This is a a live stream from. The Mobile World Congress Shanghai 2021. Yeah, um, Shanghai is now the launching place of MWC. Imagine that. Um, and yep, just now we were showing our audience, uh, showing you guys some of the 5G applications here. Yeah. Um, and at this hall, you can see Hong Kong is also having yeah, a stall. Yeah, this is one of the one of Huawei's arch enemy, Qualcomm. <laughs> the chip maker. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Yeah, take a look at Qualcomm board. So, Qualcomm, so what do we have? A coffee making here? robot. Is, wow. So What's can it actually make it? coffee? I think these are uh, these are empty coffee cups. They already someone have already drank it. Uh, She's asking him to to have oh, a demonstration okay. of the coffee machine. I don't know since when. Like since two years ago, the, the coffee making robots have become like a must-have spotlight oh. at, at all kinds of tech show. Oh, it's now moving. Right here. Oh. What kind of technology is this? Yeah, this is using Qualcomm's latest 5G chip. I think this is more about the, the speed instead of the instead of the 5G connectability. Okay, here's the coffee. Now it's the filtering process. If you're familiar with this. They even have to filter hot water. <laughs> oh, but there's no coffee beans in it. Yeah, there's no beans in it, so what's the filtering for? Bug. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have a bug here. 
Well, they're trying to refill it. Yeah, I guess trying to refill. But uh, I'm actually quite interested in what the the 5G module so you were talking about. Okay, oh, so this is like a so test. So now they're only going through a test phase. Yeah, they're 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 going through Module. It's module. Yeah. So it's like so for any device. In addition to smartphones, actually、mm. every every computer, every computing device, like、mm. a TV, like a TV set top, or even maybe only a smartwatch. Virtually at, everything can be connected now. If we、yeah. if five G is rolled out wide yeah, enough. Yeah, because five G has、uh, has more capacity. Not only about speed, about lat about latency. It's also about、uh, how many devices can run at the same time. In simple words, what is 5G for our audience? What is 5G? 5G is the you are the geek. Well, well, 5G is the is the latest generation of mobile communication technology. So by communication, we mean people talk with each other, right? And so the mobile communication means、uh, so so means we talk remotely with each other. And now it's, of course, it's now、uh, much more than that. So by connectivity, we mean we more、yeah. like mean internet instead of just dial, dialing a yeah, call or sending SMS. Yeah, because when we talk about five G, yeah, it's mostly about internet connection. Yeah, it's or, you know, yeah, it's smartphones. Oh, oopsie! Whoa, I think we have a little accident here. Another bug. <laughs> oh, what's going on? What is going on? Maybe I think it's like the hand is not holding. Like tightly enough,、mm. so we should、Maybe、avoid this, or so we should avoid this,、mistake. or just just seeing how could he fix that. He might be a bit shy to answer our questions now. Okay. Okay, but okay, let let him let him fix this bug for for a while. He's now、okay. busy. Okay. Maybe we'll get back to this. Yeah, because Qualcomm has more to offer. It's really quite crowded here. What what is this one doing? I think it's just a distributing. They're just distributing snacks. One one. Well, Mandos. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's ask asking us to. He's asking me to to move away from this way. <laughs> he says, ah.、Uh, And he's, he's telling the cameraman to get out of the way. Photographer <laughs> to get out of it. Oh, okay. He's saying, "These are free snacks. Please help yourself." Yeah. But I'm I'm with a mask, so I'm so I'm. There's quite a lot of people、that. over there. Yeah. Well. This is a bigger crowd. I think Qualcomm actually knows a lot about how to attract Chinese people. <laughs> they, they, they're now having table a, tennis. Yeah, table tennis, ping pong. So let's look at there. Yeah. They even they're now implementing a, I think this is a like smart training device, because there used to be this this automatic serving machine, but now it's it's like upgraded to serve the balls to, to serve the balls with a real、uh, with a real pad. Can we go in?、Uh, maybe we can try to go in and have a try. 你好，哎，你好，你好。我们我们昨天见过是吧？对对对 ，Yeah， I was here yesterday as well when I was、oh, you know trying to, to try.、uh, understand what is going on here.、Um, seemingly they so, have just finished trying, so maybe it's just our turn. <laughs> so we have a staff who can actually speak English here. Yeah.、Um, so we're now live streaming for our audience at CGTN. Hi.、Um, <laughs> thank you.、Um, and for those of you who are, who just joined us, this is、uh, the Mobile World Congress 2021 Shanghai Edition. Um, and we're just exploring the hall, the exhibition, to see what is on showcase yeah, here. This is the Qualcomm Hall. Yeah, this is Qualcomm,、um, and this is like the biggest tech event for the mobile communications industry.、Yeah. Um, and now here we were just seeing、uh, like a table tennis. Yeah, like an automatic serving machine. Yeah. Like the serving the ball. So there is a machine out there. So,、uh -huh. yeah. This is showing what kind of technology is this? Actually, this is called a palm bot serving robot. So,、uh, so robot again. Yeah. So first of all, we we have like three parts to show up. The first one is that the robot itself. So it so is the number right, one. Right yeah, there is yeah, the right there. robot.、Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the first robot to play the the robot with the with the blade. So compare with the traditional ones with two. Maybe、numbers. I should try my hands on it while you guys try yeah, to explain yeah. it. Okay.、Yeah? I'll do the demo for you, and then you try to. You know there is a rumor there. that every Chinese can play ping pong. So, in addition to this serving robot, is there like any more parts of this system? 
Okay. Uh, definitely, so there's uh, cameras out, uh, on above. Uh, if you record, if you record, yeah. <laughs> I think it can serve like much, much harder balls. Yeah. yeah. So we have a cooperation with the CTCC, which is uh, officially uh, for training students to Chinese teams. So to the Chinese national ping pong team. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a legend, right? We are using this uh, machine to to cherry to to training. So there. Do you want to try it? The, yeah, I uh, want to try. I'm sorry it. to interrupt. <laughs> How is the explanation uh, going on there? Okay, so. So in addition to this serving robot, actually this is a complete system. You can follow, you can follow my hands over there. there I think it's a, quite good for training, but I don't yeah. understand the rationale behind it. Uh, yeah. So, so in addition to the robot, there is also a there is also a camera out there to watch, uh, to to watch the trace of the balls I have I have I have served or I have replied, and then uh, based on these analysis of the trails, they can also show my results on the on this screen. Oh, so this is where. The results come. Yeah, the system is live now. The system is live now. Uh, if you, if I go on, if I go on playing with it, this data will change, yeah. and you can ah. see if. So where's the camera then? So Over let's there. yeah. Oh. So let's have another captures, round. So, so let's have another our round. Uh, from the uh, uh, okay. Let me. I hold the mic for you. I hold the mic for you. Yeah. Okay. I think Gongzhe is the expert <laughs> among us, so I'll let I'll let him try too. Okay. Oh. You just said you've already explained it, right? Uh, explained it in front. The back, this seems to have no explanation. Oh, so please go ahead. Okay. Uh, for we have a, a ball tracking system, so basically they will track each of the balls, uh, the trainer's place. So the speed the data. He's trying the hard mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, sorry. So they will they will track all the data from the, the trainers. Uh huh. So let's have a look here. Oh, so this data is changing here. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, it's live. Yeah. Let me yeah, let me bring my photographer. So over here is a screen that shows how Gongzhe is doing or training. Uh, for each of the lines, uh, it's a one data from one parameters from the the boss. So mm. So you can see the speed, angle, and the height. That's the response or the, the, the robots? No, no, for the trainers. Oh, the trainers. Oh. So for different colors, uh -huh. uh, the red means it's great, and, and the gray means it's normal. How is it, the little exercise? Well, it makes me think of my childhood. You know, <laughs> I used to have like a week of training of this. Really? Yeah, yeah I used to have a, yeah, a no little bit of training. When just ahead for the hard mode. <laughs> yeah, I went straight to the hard mode. But you no, know, my performance is not good, you know. So so when you're showing red, it means good or bad. Yeah. Good. Uh, red means good. Red <laughs> means good. So, yeah. so I think I have problem with height, right? So yeah, exactly. I must have been skyrocketing balls. <laughs> well, um, does this have anything to do with 5G at all? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, we have a like a camera oh, over there, and then data tra transforming uh, from one device to other others. Oh, so you mean the data from the camera? Yeah, so yeah, by five G. Yeah, yeah, no wires. Oh, no wire. Um, transfer the data. To transfer what? the data from the the center of the the CPUs uh -huh. to the camera to to these machines. So also you can try this as well. Well. There's no way we can just play the VR content to our live No, it's an AR. It's an AR. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's no yeah, way it's hard. A it's a bit hard audience. to explain yeah, 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 exactly. for you to see it yeah. because you have to wear the, the device. Yeah, yeah. Well, but thank you. Yeah, you're thank, you. thank you. So there are quite a lot of interesting stuff on you know, going on here. Yeah, it um, made me think of my childhood. <laughs> That's not a very good still one. In there. <laughs> still trapped in the yeah, childhood. Still in the nostalgia. <laughs> A lot of screens for sure, because this yeah, is like a, a telecom event. Actually, and screens are being upgraded, but that's another topic. We'll talk about this like in the in the Digital China Forum later. Yeah, okay. like screens everywhere. Do you want to check out Samsung? Uh, so maybe maybe Inspur first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Now that we're here. Yeah, their people is now eager, eagerly waiting for me already. <laughs> yeah, they've been waiting here all day since since I contacted them. So, so what's it about? 
Inspur is one of the cloud infrastructure companies in China. That's more that's more like the business side. So yeah, the, I've already I've already arranged interviews with them because they okay. are they're very eager to introduce us to, to their latest product. So hello. Hello. Oh hello big guy. <laughs> I'm not so big. So uh, maybe first introduce yourself to our audience. Okay, uh, I'm Eric Sun. I'm from Inspur, uh, Overseas Business Headquarters. I'm in charge of the solutions. Solutions, yes. And so maybe I'll have to warn you about your mask usage. Maybe you have to cover your nose with a mask. I'm oh, sorry about that. It's my, my glasses, that's all. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's oh, okay. 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 So, so, um, so when I first toured this place, you have some really cool uh, technology that you would eager to introduce to me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, this is the first time that Inspire has participated in a telecom exhibition. That's because in the, five, in the time of 5G, uh, people see the software and the hardware of telecom equipment that has decoupled. So this gave an uh, opportunity for the IT companies such, such as Inspire to have an opportunity to participate in, in the competition in the uh, telecom industry. So that's why we brought, out, uh, brought, brought here a lot of uh, solutions for the telecoms. For instance, we have the family base stations there, and we have our intelligent computing here. Basically, they are for the, for the uh, industry intelligent, for the, for the business for the side. side, yes. It's for, because these two two parts are basically basically lied by the telecom operators. Do we have I can't wait to to see your product already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will show you two examples of our of our, of our system. Let's see what they have to offer. It says safety. Uh, how is that connected to this? This one is for the safety of the of the uh, constructing side. For example, people are required to wear their helmet on the side for their personal safety. But sometimes people just forget that. But all our system, uh, what, what, no, can I just? Uh, oh, helmets! Yeah, I've, been to, I've been to many construction sites before. Yeah, yes. it's it's like mandatory. You have to wear it. You have to wear that because you can see people in this in this frame, and no one, everyone's given a right frame. That means I think this is live, right? Yeah, this is live. This is from the camera over there. Just over there. I can I can go in I can go in front of the camera. Now you can, you can look you can look at the yeah look at there. And so so here I am see. But it says. Yeah, that's a blue frame on you. Uh -huh. So ah, oh, when you take out the helmet and it's become. It becomes red, yeah. The change to the brain here is that we developed a very small device. It's called Edge Computing Small, it's a mini base station. We put that together with the camera and it can process the live stream in a real, real time manner. So, so there is no other like big server hosting. This is the server. This is the server. This is a small server. You don't have to dedicate the man standing there to remind the people. This one can do the job 24-7. High efficiency. So uh, I don't see a fan on it. Can it really like run 24/7? Because the, the thermal release from the, this uh, this machine, this device is very 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 less compared with other solutions. So just with this metal here, it's uh, it's just uh, okay for for all the it's, So it's sufficient for the for, for the heat to come out. Exactly. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. I have to say. You don't need a fan anymore, <laughs> so there's no, absolutely no noise, no right? Noise. Absolutely no noise. And it's uh, considerable for any harsh environment, anytime. Yeah. So it's a metal box, it and has it to be, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And the second one here I want to show you is for the industrial quality inspection. You know, all the devices, all these, these gadgets here are made of a very, a very, uh, a lot of small parts. And to find the, the, the flaws in the small part, during the quality inspection, it's good for the reliability of the equipment itself. I think this used to be done by human eyes, right? Yes, it used to be done, used to be done by the human eyes. And one, one small inspector machine here can do the job equals to 10 human inspectors. So they're not only replacing humans, they're also faster. It's faster, exactly. The that, sounds, that sounds terrifying, actually. <laughs> 
you can see this is the this over innovation here, and this edge server here has support of hundreds of small devices like this. So for a medium-sized factory, that machine alone is enough. Well, you just need one like like desktop computer-sized server. Yes, exactly. So this is no the, rack needed. No rack needed. Just portable. Anyone can put that on your table and you are ready to work. You don't need a professional engineer to help you to do the de deployment and the commissioning. That's so, the so you still need people to do the job. <laughs> but just, I can do but, the job now and you can do the job. Uh, so you don't need to be like, like technically qualified anymore. Exactly. You're, you're absolutely right. So it seems like our jobs are still preserved. It's just become easier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I heard you have recently developed a very fast server. Yes, we have. But it's on the side on the other side of this as well, shall we? Cross into that sector. If that if it's that fast, I think it's worth looking. It's a world champion that you're gonna see here. World champion on what? World champion on what? It's a world champion for a uh, authority team benchmark called M M M M L Perf. It's a world famous organization to organize the competitions among the AI server um, vendors to see which server is the fastest. AI server render. So they're rendering 3D images. Yes, AI is not only images. AI is something different. When you do the search engine, you search things on Baidu, you buy a train ticket on the 1236.com, and you may all use this, this kind of server. And you may use uh, TikTok or Douyin, you have to use uh, so not only rendering video, but also many rendering websites or so, so. So, so it's not only rendering; it's just producing answers. Exactly. In the last year's competition, just this one beat six. Sorry, it, it beat eight competitors and won the world championship, and it's three times faster than the champion the year before. So this is the, really the champion of, of the world. Of, uh, it's, a, it's for innovation, and it's a good combination of the software and the hardware. This is the value we are using for It's like the heart, you don't produce the parts in it, but you put it together and it runs faster. The design is important, but we also do good software. So that's why it wins the championship. So you also design software to coordinate these hardware to run exactly. faster. Exactly, you are right, you are right. It seems to be just like a normal server, just like a like the double double height server. Yeah, yeah. Because it has it's a full unit height. It has eight very very high speed GPUs. And uh, if you compare this GPU server to the non GPU server, and this one equals the workload of a thousand non GPU server. So it's very powerful in some of the applications, such as such like a search engine, language translating natural language processing, and, so, and uh, automatic uh, vehicle driving. So, so basically, this is very useful. So it's like a generic, it's a generic AI server. It's a jet? It's a generic, so it does all kinds of jobs that AI can do. Exactly, it's for very high uh, computing power concentrated scenarios. Especially the telecom operator, operators and the cloud operators need, need this one. Cool. I think so. So I think I need to look for the details of this machine, and we don't have time for that. So thank you very much for your passionate in in introduction. Now we're going to head for another best. Another okay. Thanks very much. What did I say? You are the gig. Well, yeah, maybe. So, so oh, I've, I've gone too far, right? <laughs> no, no. But it's good to know the technical side of things. But we are having enough of it. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna okay. move on. And <laughs> for those of you who just joined us, this is the Mobile World Congress 2021 in Shanghai. Yeah, this is Shanghai. the biggest tech event in yeah. the yeah, like one telecom of, industry. One of the largest tech events in, in the telecom industry. Yeah, in Asia. Not only, uh, yeah, in Asia. So the whole series of, M uh, of MWC is the. I think maybe the largest in the world about telecom. Yeah. So what have we seen? Like a lot of 5G, cloud computing, artificial yeah. intelligence. These yeah. are all applications that that's actually now going like being integrated into areas such as we saw uh, like film and entertainment yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. And then we saw the industrial side. Yeah, industry of, side, the B2B side. Yeah, and and what else? There's also a lot of like medical care, uh, education, 
Yeah, uh, there energy. Was, yeah, there were so many so repetitive things that can be done by AI now. Yeah, um, and for those of you who are not familiar with 5G development in China, I think it's quite surprising. It might be surprising for our audience that China is already the biggest 5G market in the world. Yeah, it's the, it's the largest 5G country already. Yeah, no matter by the number of the 5G base stations that we have, yeah, uh, China coverage. has now more than 700,000, accounting for roughly 70%. Yeah, China is a big country. Covering total. such a big country is not an easy job. <laughs> and then and then the number of 5G users. Yeah, we, users. We saw a few of the, the 5G phones. Yeah, we're not covering on. empty areas. We're, we're, covering, we're covering cities that actually have people living in it and, mm -hmm. uh, and people with 5G smartphones actually enjoying it. Not just smartphones, like everything can now be connected yeah. because yeah. 5G is more, it's actually just a, a technology that, that has higher internet speed, I guess. Yeah. Not right? only With, speed, but also co yeah. so the capacity. Uh, it, it can have, it can get more devices connected. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's not easily overloaded. Like, so yeah, we just cool. look at Huawei's latest uh, yeah, 5G Yeah, the phone. Huawei's new phone. And what do we have here? There are other phones available. You of know, course, this you is know, the Huawei is not the then. only smartphone player in China. Although it's one of the biggest. Yeah, maybe one of the biggest. It's one of the largest. It's Here's the another. largest now, yeah. So there are other players like Oppo. Yeah, we call it the, we also call it the blue, uh, the, the green company. Okay. The green what? We also call Oppo the, the green company because uh. there is a blue one similar to that. Yeah, yeah. it's actually red now, this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you see a lot of like... Um, yeah, everyone's I, doing that. A lot of brands, watch, a lot of companies are now wireless, doing the yeah, wireless. Uh, the TWS like the one headphones you're wearing now. <laughs> and you know, you know, quad cameras. Everyone has such technology because... Multiple that, cameras now is like yeah, the norm. Yeah, multiple. It's now a norm. Because you know, multiple cameras become a norm because we have more diversified need for photographs. Because you yeah. know, like for like for three years ago, if you want to take really close-up shots, a smartphone won't work. So, and there are other and there are other ideas we can we can talk about. So, what Oppo is good because you know what Oppo is good at is the fast charging technology. Because you know, we we don't have in, we don't have such great like smartphone, smartphone battery, because the battery tech have already not, have been stopped evolving for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So we have found other ways to, to get the jobs done, especially. It seems like we're, uh, I'm not sure, we might be having a little problem over there. I'm not sure, so. Um, so, so we're, not to, we're not allowed to go live here? I, I don't know, this is not open to the public. Yeah, I think our producer is now talking with the OPPO with the OPPO people about the permission. Yeah, but this is, this we have is an open exhibition. So Shall we just... I don't know what is happening here. So maybe, uh, so maybe you can ask them what is happening and I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll do the talk. Maybe you, yeah, can, okay. maybe you can ask them and I'll, I'll do the talk later. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me figure out what's yeah. going on here. Cool. Yeah, and we're, we're now trying to figure out what is happening with our OPPO exhibition. So, um, so largely, Largely, there are many more smartphone makers in China. Not only limited Huawei, there are also Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, and even Realme. So those new brands. So, smartphones in China is more diversified than you know in other countries. Like in the U.S., you have Samsung and Apple. But in addition to that, China, China has so, so many. Yeah. She mistook us for as staff for Oppo, and then ah, so th okay. he didn't understand what we were doing here. Oh, okay, cool. So um, we're the media. We're not the Oppo yeah, staff. Yeah, we're just taking you through the Mobile World Congress, taking yeah. you through what what new technologies are being yeah. So you know, we're now talking. Here. Yeah, we're now covering the fast charging technology about the Oppo. Is it Oppo's this one? Yeah. Also, yeah, this is their latest smartphone. Uh, another five G. And the TW and, and the TWS. Yeah. Earbuds is now a norm. You know, the first time when people see AirPods, it's like such a an amazing thing. Now they're not become smaller, prettier. Well, everyone is now following this. One this one looks image. quite like AirPods, actually. Yeah, actually, AirPod, AirPods like. There are so many AirPods like devices right so now. So you were talking about the fast charging. Yeah, the fast charging technology. technology. I think they're I showing it here. Whenever there's you know oh. cool technology, it's always it's followed here. by a lot by a big crowd. Let's check here. So, yeah, I'm really interested in this. Right here. 
So this is like 65 watts. So you know, for uh, by default, a an iPhone, an iPhone 12 Mini, is charged at the rate of like five watts. But by default, of course. But this phone by default is like. Is like how to say, it's like 13 times faster than the default. So if this speed. one runs out of battery, like like you can like you can make it alive in like minutes actually. But if it's 100 percent to get 100 uh, to get to the 100 percent, so it's usually like half an hour, a bit really? more than half an hour, yeah, because it's like t more than 10 times faster than than the previous generation technology, and I think there there are also. I think what I heard is they are also trying to to make remote charging or to make remote yeah, charging faster. That's also forty five wireless volts. one, huh? Yeah. That so so you know for for charge for charge with remotely charging smartphones, the speed is usually is is, is usually slower. And now they're, they're and now the new technologies have bringing the, the remote charging technology to the speed of wire charging. Mm. Yeah, so wired or not, you're on the same train. It's quite sleek. Yeah. But, yeah. like, do you know what makes it possible? Well, so uh, for, the, for, for this kind of technology to work, they basically divided this single battery into two. Uh, so this is only a demonstration. This is not the true technology. So that, it's the battery is already here, right? Mm. So they divided the battery into two and charged them at the same time. That's basically how it happened. And you can even divide it into more parts. There are actually more small batteries in there and you charge them at the same time. That's basically how it works. So I like going through the exhibition of Song Zhuo. <laughs> he always tells me the, you know, okay. like the Sometimes I know something. <laughs> well. I think there are, there are even faster technologies is now showing here. Not showing here. Oh. It seems like they have brought off the display of the of the fastest one. Do you want to talk to one yeah. of their staff? Maybe talk with one of the staff. I'll, 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 I'll try to contact okay. with them. So yeah, this is the Mobile World Congress Shanghai, the, 20, uh, the first version of this event uh, this year. Um, and then in, in June, there's the Barcelona version and later in Los Angeles, if they're still, the offline event is still going to take place. But in China now, because the pandemic has been brought under control, this event has taken place um, earlier. Usually it's, it's in June, but now it's switched with the Barcelona event. And this uh, Mobile World Congress is the biggest tech event for the mobile communications industry. Uh, Okay, sure. It seems like we caught them by surprise. I talked with them, and they didn't prepare for this. They have already, they have already put, put behind. But their, that's okay because they're fast charging technology. Because that's the most interesting part: the the wireless charging. Right? Yeah, and yeah. In addition to the charging technology, there are also something else. Because you know, previously we have seen Huawei's foldable phone. We did. And actually, there were even more ways to get the screen larger. Do you, I want to go around for some more interactive stuff? Do you mind? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I can use some fan now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really it's hot in the hall. Hot. Uh, really, because really, you know it's spring in China now, so. Uh, but what's special about this fan? This is what's special about this fan? This is so you shake the phone and control different kinds of devices. So this is like the internal And you are controlling it from the phone. Ah, is so you, so, you, so you no longer need to, need to like switch devices on your phone. There are many devices over here and you uh, you don't need to like like, like like swipe your phone to control it one by one. You just point your phone at the device and it will start controlling it. So it's interesting because He's you controlling just it. Just, the phone no, yeah, yeah. The just device. shaking it. Yeah. Just shake it, and then you can control just shake the, towards the it, fan. Right? Is this also? Uh huh. And now she, he shakes the phone, and the speaker is on. I wonder. How, I wonder why it's. I wonder how they made it possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as he gets further away, 
know, the loudspeaker, the voice oh, is the voice become larger, yeah. So oh, uh, so they're using this tag. They're using this tag to to detect distance between the phones. So this is the, you can recognize the spatial like dimension of, uh, of things, well, where the person or the phone is located in the space. Yeah, so I never imagined, so you know, you know previously for positioning we used the GPS, we used Beidou, yeah. we used the satellite to know the position. Now we can use this kind of tags to, to sense the position. Sensors, now it's all about like sensors or chips, they're everywhere yeah. now. That's that's the essence of connected device. Having yeah. a chip inside and then yeah, they're, they're used to you know sense the information of it. In the world like ten years ago, there were not enough things to there were not enough uh, IPs or that were bandwidth resources for us to have so many connected devices. But now it seems like the world's getting a much better place. Do we have to go to another hall? Um, do you want to explore it further? Um, let me check whether there are any comments coming you from from you guys. Yeah, if anyone is, so yeah, I want to um, know if anyone is asking some any oh, questions I think about this. Buy one, fits. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. You were asking what is the name of the phone you you just saw. I think it was at the Oppo. I think stall, right? I don't know if this is Oppo phone or the uh, one Huawei minute phone. Ago, yeah. the, so it's the Oppo phone, right? Mm. Oppo phone is this is the Oppo Reno Five. If you want to know the answer. Yeah. yeah. And so Oppo is that. like one of the biggest phone yeah. makers in China. Yeah, one of but the top five. Yeah. Top five? But worldwide, is it? Well, it's not worldwide, of course. It's in China. In China, top five. Yeah, Does it do any export business at all? Uh, they have export businesses, but maybe in different names. Mm. Yeah. Maybe they have they have different names in different markets. Right. So we have seen what. We've seen smartphones. Yeah, We've seen interesting smartphones. Uh, business solutions. Yeah, like yeah. applications of this new tech. Yeah, and entertaining, in areas, inter and in different entertaining industries. interactive devices, mm -hmm. robots out there. See these guys now using the. Yeah, the hand controlled. The virtual. Yeah. yeah, it's the virtual. Yeah. yeah. To, actually, I think it's played. Doing? Actually, I think he's playing quite well. This is like a learning process. So, uh -huh. uh, so you take a look at there. Yeah, this is like a learning process. If you are a new engineer and you know nothing about uh, about how to install yeah, these that's devices, that's another major application of uh, yeah education. And, and, yeah, so for, for if, training and education yeah for training. Because yeah. you know if you, if you train people with the real objects, there's possibility they will break it. But oh, we were talking about Samsung. Let's go have a look. Okay, you yeah you talked about Samsung sometime before. And I really want to know what Samsung has to offer. Because yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, for smart for Chinese smartphone users, Samsung is basically dead in China. It has only like less than one percent of market share. You could tell because there are not many people. Yeah. But, but now Sam but Samsung is trying to find a way back into the Chinese market. So let's see what let's see what they have to offer. Exynos, yeah. So these are the chips, right? Yeah, this is the this is the the most important chip. One of the most important, maybe the important. You know, you know, to computers, there's the CPU, right? Yeah. It's the processing unit. Yeah. And for smartphones, it's this one. It's called the SOC, SOC. So, so it's the and whole it's system on one chip. These chips that cut. The supply of these chips were cut off. Yeah, for, yeah, because you know, yeah, because you know, one of so the three largest, like five nanometer. Uh, a chip maker are Samsung, uh, I think Samsung and Taiwan's TS TSMC. Mm. These are actually only two major players right now because Intel is now out of the game. And, and Huawei is also sourcing it from ta the Taiwan. Uh, yeah, it's a TM yeah, TSMC, yeah. So, because TMMC under the US uh, exports restrictions, now they do, they stopped they stopped helping Huawei to make chips, but so Samsung have their own factory. What does this chip allow us to do? So this chip is the core chip of a smartphone. 
you know, this is the thing that Doesn't powers everything in a smartphone. Here? Yeah. These are all stand. Yes, they are all. These are all quite standard things right now because you know, for five nanometers uh, devices like Huawei's, uh, like Huawei's uh, Curie 9000 and Apple's A12. So these chips are all made of this new five nanometer technology. So these are not new stuff, right? Uh, these are, I think, how to define new. If it's like like within a year, it's quite new actually. Yeah. Uh. Five nanometer is the is the latest and most of the best technology to build a chip. I'm surprised yeah. that they don't actually have any phones here. Yeah, because or pads. Yeah, they don't provide any electronic devices in China because no. Uh, well, they still they're still selling things, but only yeah. to their enthusiasts, like hardcore Samsung fans. Samsung fans. Why is that? Well. I think maybe related to the to, to, to the Note 7 thing, and also related oh. to how Samsung handled the Note 7 scandal. Because in China there is something a bit different. Because Samsung treats the Chinese customers differently than its other global audience. So that's why they anger the Chinese people. And maybe it's also related to okay. that. You know. <laughs> so, well. Maybe. May, sometimes maybe to, to some little bit group of people. Well, it's just because they are Korean. I guess that's what... Well, in every exhibition you'll find something unique. I mean, I'm talking about the Mobile World Congress. If yeah. you're talking about Barcelona, the flagship event, then it might be a different thing here. Right? Of course, yeah. yeah. I think Samsung would have a lot more to say at Barcelona, of course. And that happens in June. Yeah, that, and that is happening in June, and maybe our Europe, our, our our colleagues in Europe will help yeah, us to cover that. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I'm so quite maybe, looking forward to see what yeah. what is like going to be different yeah, in that so, exhibition. So don't worry, Samsung fans. So things are only going down in China, and it's not in the rest of the world. All right. I guess that's maybe that's time to yeah. to conclude this this video show. That's pretty much it. Like, what what was the most striking thing for you this Mobile World Congress in China? So this year? Yeah. This I year. think. Having an offline event alone is already quite amazing. Of course. Yeah, because because yeah. of the, last year everything all of the offline everything events were canceled. canceled. You know, we had for Shanghai, we had for Shanghai for nothing. This is like the first event with an in-person touch. Yeah, yeah, right. like, like and we can do. You know, you're based in Shanghai, I'm based in Beijing, and we're now doing a live stream together. This is already a miracle. But I mean, for me personally, it's like. We've been talking about 5G for quite a long time now, yeah. but actually being here, seeing all those scenarios of how it can be applied, is, I think that's a progress. Like the progress of 5G deployment in China is quite really... Yeah, because 5G is actually right. making progress mm. instead of like, because you know, I cover tech, so I watch a lot of tech. Uh, tech uh, channels and so there are many people on the comment section always saying that 5G is useless or actually many users in China who have already tried 5G technology would claim that it makes very little different from the 4G counterparts but I think uh, maybe I have to quote the GSMA so because the GSMA people have told us to be a little bit patient and wait, yeah, for, the, like technology, yeah, the wait advanced, for the greater things the to come because you know uh, you may know TikTok and so, so, you know, TikTok is functional, it can, can function on 4G network, right? So why there is no TikTok at the beginning of the 4G application? So it's the same thing. We need, we need to wait for the yeah. industry to, to, to come up with the innovation. But, I mean, being here definitely gives me the feeling that there's a, huge, like a whole lot of potential for 5G. Yeah. To connect things and connect people, yeah. to be applied in different industries. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. So yeah. stay tuned for that too if you're interested. Yeah. If you're living in Europe, maybe maybe months later you'll have the chance to go to Barcelona to witness some to witness something more. Well, thank you for joining us here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I think this is the end of today's happy show. Happy the year of the ox. Yeah, happy the year of the ox. It's a lot like a little like a little late like a little late happy. A little late promising. Now bye yeah. for now. Yeah, bye for now.